Hii ni Super Sunday mali super enda kuchambua vitu mbili tatu za Biblos kama K. Tukiangalia tu 1 2 3 ndani ya Buddha Boss Live. Mali yenyewe kakinuka si kausha lakini tunapenda pia kujibamba na Biblos. Au sio? Of course DK kwenye beat. Hope kid. Story imeshika mtandao ni nini nini? Ah. As an individual sita comment sana on actions zao. Juu kama tunaongea about story ya rape mti yangu hiyo ni criminal case. Hiyo ni kesi ni sheria inatamba. Ikigonga hapo ni sheria inatamba. Ah uh, msalaba mtu lazima asikie uzito wake au sio? Eh hey, inakuwa gani ngori. Lakini kwa najiuliza watu wa Mungu mazee, nini tunaweza learn because ni one thing tunaweza ongea about oh DK kwenye beat, oh hope kid, oh gospel artist etc. Lakini we are talking about issues dio zime happen ngori ziko watu wana do lakini learning curve iko wapi baba Nini tunaweza chukua tuseme hii naweza apply in my life watana na DK watana na Hope Kid watana na my gospel artists and whoever else mti yangu nini mimi naweza learn as an individual Ningependa kushare story na nyinyi Story kwa Biblos then you analyze one or two three things kwa hii story. Niki trust God atatuzungumzia in a very specific way. Au sio? Mtabeana mimi ni story refu tutaenda bit by bit. Sasa 19 verses za kupitia usichoke itakujenga. Second Samuel chapter 13 tutaanza verse 1 tukimbie mpaka 19. Nasoma nikitambua 1 2 3 au sio 13:1 In the course of time Amnon son of David fell in love with Tamar the beautiful sister of Absalom son of David Amnon amenoki sistake by and large sistake supu Tamar amemnoki akasema anya Oh lo 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 we 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 wa 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 mimi na sister yangu nimependa kuruka nimependa at this point mti yangu una expect while it is still an idea kwa mind u jamaa anasema shindwe pepo mbaya nyeusi get thee behind me satan at the desire stage yenu ni mbaya wewe ukifikiria unajiambia u jamaa anafikiria nini man lakini wacha tuingie verse 2 asante Amnon became frustrated to the point of illness on account of his sister Tamar for she was a virgin and it seemed impossible for him to do anything to her. Uyo jamaa ni kwa semi tu nimenoki sister yangu. Anataka kudu vitu. Mimi siogee kusuku mpaka mafuta kwa nywele. Hapana. Hiyo uhitaji mtu yangu kugonjeka nupake mafuta mtu nywele. Basi ongee kusema watu wash for my sister. Hapana. Huyu jamaa anataka kudu vitu na sister yake. Amejaribu mbinu hapo inaka impossible. Wajamba jamu fike mahali useme it seems impossible. Ni kusema umepiga strategy 1 imekataa. Strategy 2 imekataa. 3 imekataa. 4 imekataa. Huyu damn ni vajo magic Simpati baba. Na suspect huyo jamaa ndiye kuwe mgonjwa maybe in between masturbation imecheza wewe usiku tu una imagine oye oye aje dada nikipiwa tu siku moja na uu ni huyu moja hivi unafikiri me stop hapo verse 3 now amnon had a friend named jonadab son of shimea david's brother jonadab was a very shrewd man jonadab ni kuzo ya Amnon. <laughs> Jonadab is a shrewd man. Huyu ni kuzo. Eh? Kuzo ame come into the picture verse 4. Kuzo na do nini? He asked Amnon, "Why do you the king's son look so haggard morning after morning? Won't you tell me?" Amnon said to him, "I'm in love with Tamar, my brother Absalom's sister." Una expect by this time kuzo yake atamwambia shindwe. Riswa. Just be behind me Satan. Yenu ufala gani unaniambia? Una expect kaza yako mwambie wacha ujinga wewe. Toka kwa hiyo story. Verse 5. Advice ya Amnon. Ya 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 kuzo ya Amnon. 
Jonadab anamwambia hivi Go to bed and pretend to be ill. Jonadab said, When your father comes to see you, say to him, I would like my sister Tamar to come and give me something to eat. Let her prepare the food in my sight so I may watch her and then eat from her hand. Boss, Sometimes some of the most wicked people we go for for counsel are our relatives. So when you talk to friends, oh, bad friends will influence morals zako. Tunasahau in our own households, we have brothers and sisters, wicked to the core. Fathers and mothers, wicked to the core. Uncles and aunties, wicked to the core. Cousins, mashetani, and you know it. And we will run to them at you na kupatia counsel. Hata nikwambie bad counsel haichagui blood relationship au aitambui baba. You may not choose your relatives but you can choose to whom you go for for counsel. Na scripture iko clear. Avoid wicked counsel. Thou shall not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Lakini take your advice. Jonathan Bajambi Amnon Akisha kam mfanyie mambo Jonadab ashajua kitu jamaa anataka Take counsel ya Jonadab Aye ye ye ya boss Wacha udem akuje akutengeneze food in your eyesight As you watch In other words Jonadab msema he last feed it boss kama kuna kitu scripture to warn about tunaongea about the last of the eyes and the last of the heart but at the last of the eyes which supenda ku feed through pornography madem wanapenda wanapatia free food for last eh majungle all over your thighs kijambia oh it's my body what would you pange na unajua vizuri kitu unafanya na hiyo mwili yako amempea strategy just feed your eyes the rest will follow i don't do not know about me si tanzu kukuambia endo does na ye see you know waste of time in the obvious in the obvious ya muhimu ni feed he kitu inaitwa last way way feed your eyes baba ha una jo kitu ni bamba gana watu wicked wicked people we look for counsel from those who will tell them what their ears are itching to hear ujama alikuwa na option bwana jonadab but hata na hiyo tuendelee verse 6 so amnon lay down and pretended to be ill kachukua advice when the king came to see amnon uh, amnon said to him i would like my sister tamar to come and make some special bread choice of food hey in my sight so i may eat from her hand David sent word to Tamar at the palace Go to the house of your brother Amnon and prepare some food for him Buda huyu tali anajua mbona alichagua David David si baba tu David ni king David Akikupa instruction na kupa instruction both as a father but also as a king Jonathan anajua wewe baba yako akiambia huyu msichana akuje kwako That is the king speaking Hana authority ya kukataa Buda mezi kama mshiko kwa station yenyewe mavijana wako chat mayut wanapanga ka event wanajua hii event tunataka kupika ufala ndani wako na strategy hapa hivi lakini ndo tu legitimize wanakuja kwa pasi na script moja imeiva Oh pasta We know we got to encourage each other. You know we are thinking of praying as young people. Nini eh pastor naguzwa anasema wow eh so to organize at a place ya kesha hapa hivi tuombe nini nini pastor ako sama praise the lord and on avenue the young people pa wana come in fact pasi unaweza kuwa guest speaker. Ah pastor ameingia sanduku haraka fasta katoshea akafungiwa ndani. Pastor yeye mwenyewe na mdomo wake kena kwa pulpit. Aka make announcement in his authority young people come for a kesha 
We are going to have a time in the presence of the Lord. Mafisi hapo ndani wanajua nini wanapika? Wewe umeingizwa box kama pasi. Umetumia hiyo authority, umegather mraia Kongo. Alafu mafisi wamekaa ndani ndani. Wamekupa jamaka slot ya kupreach. Imefika saa tisa, umejiambia ah. Wase, si nini mkimalizia mimi niende nilale kesho na service. Unasema hii na noma pasi. Ukijiondoa wanachukua mambebe one by one. Shop. Watu wapelekwe nyumbani kwao a a. Watu wanapelekwa maeneo. Wewe ulitumika kama bait baba. Utumie hiyo authority na zingine umeingizwa box kama mzazi. Wewe ndio umetuma mtoto wako enda pale. Kaone anti nani in your authority na ujue umeingizwa box. I pray that every leader uta walk maze in discernment. God had to put your discernment kama wazazi, discernment kama spiritual leaders wherever tuko. Tuweze kujua sa zile. Hauna facts lakini una feel ai hapana. Maybe nafanya a approach different story differently. Tuna move mti yangu. Verse 8 so Tamar went to the house of her brother Amnon. Ameingia box who was lying down. She took some dough, kneaded it, made the bread in his sight and baked it. Boss ni mauliza kubek keki mkate na chukua olo kubek mkate nimepata tu rough idea an hour an hour and a half two hours depending on nini unatumia kupika itc unipika style gani tuseme roughly two hours two hours tamar ana bake amno na nakula kwa macho two hours Akinama tu hivi kukunid. Amno naye. Akinama mazeku. Amno naye. Anakula kwa macho. Iki ndio kula kwa macho is as wicked as the devil. Sio mchezo. Kula kwa macho. Then to give us nine. Then she took the pan and served him the bread. But he refused to eat. Send everyone out of here. Amnon said so everyone left Buda kata shangaza ni Tamar Tamar ndio ni vajo Tamar maze unajua ndio venye bible sema gatu him who is pure all things are pure ako radarless haoni signs that hapa hivi kuna game inachezwa Tamar ako clueless Tamar ajiulizi eh hey, ni mkate gani hii lazima ikulwe solo mbona kila mtu anaenda ni mimi na baki nikiku sub ni nini hii uwezi kula solo sin buda u thrive in secrecy any moment unasikia ah my my mom and dad are away please come home we watch a movie mtego mbona hii movie naona sasa zile mom and dad are away nini inafanywa tu peke yake kwa siri mti yangu unaingia mtego wewe unaingia mtego ah tamar si ni ule aro best akaka chini jamaa ka come verse 10 the nano said to tamar bring the food here into my bedroom so i may eat from your hand ya jabu and tamar took the bread she had prepared and brought it to her brother amnon in his bedroom then number one, take it when you chronology na come fukuza watu watu wamefukuzwa tuko solo number two, ai bebe wo mgonjwa akule sitting group yeah. unataka kuniua unataka kula bedroom wewe unataka kula bedroom mrembo na huyo tik 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 ndani ya bedroom mkate oh. asante hasa tuko bedroom tuone kama tutaingia prayer worship si ndio but when he took it to him to eat he grabbed her and said come to bed with me my sister Manze, last haichagui ni nani tamanga buda last haitambui baba yako haitambui mama yako haitambui sister yako mtu anaweza rep sister yake anaweza kufanya nini wewe last haitambui boss Haita, in fact last hata ikutambui wewe mwenye unaibeba we nani Come to bed with me my sister 
Verse 12. Don't, my brother, Damon I beg. She said to him, don't force me. Such a thing should not be done in Israel. Don't do this wicked thing. And I beg, what about me? Where could I get rid of my disgrace? What about you? You would be like one of the wicked fools in Israel. Please speak to the king. He will not keep me from being married to you. They were so desperate. They were so desperate. Buddha, the king, aliambia ni kuoe afadhali hiyo then kenyu nataka kunifanyia mti yangu think about me basi nasema mimi sikutambui okay basi think about you last time nasema hata ufala si mtambui mimi hapa najitambua last time take over boss but he refused to listen to her verse 14 and since he was stronger than she he raped her what began as a desire ended up as a rape. No wonder Christ and to show Buddha when you look at a woman lustfully, you have already fornicated with her. You have already committed adultery with her. In other words, for as long as how you deal na hiyo thought at that moment uka deal nayo. It is only a matter of time before it translates into fornication and adultery. Leo hata nikwambie kuna 50 million plus maybe or 45 million decay kwenye bits waiting to materialize. Tuko na 45 million hope kids waiting to manifest. Kisa na maana because in your minds to me feed last Tunangalia madem tunakula kwa macho. Ngwati ndio atuati. Pono tunacheza nao kama sele. Zile tunacheza nao hapa kwa akili tukidissect boss. Wewe na rapist. It's only a matter of time before to redo the same thing. Because up here the desire tunacheza nayo has nothing anywhere close to being right before God. Then Saskia mazai twist. Verse 15, then Amnon hated her with intense hatred. In fact, he hated her more than he had loved her. Amnon said to her, get up and get out. Madame Wangapi wa miliyalia kisema, oh, I slept with this guy. After usha peana vitu, ukambiwa nisiwai kuona. Uwa nifikiria ni love, ni last. Nini ya iwezi ngoja mmari? Boss. Umeingia mtego. Ah, no, he loves me. I need to show him that I also love him. Unajipeana, last kisha kumanga inakudamp, boss. Because last, in its true sense, ikona hatred in it. It hates you. That's why it wants to devour you. Ndiyo kitoka hapo, you change your perspective on, of men. So even when God brings you the one he had prepared for you, you cannot even receive them. You always appreciate, you always handle. Washa mess up with your perspective of men. The devil comes to steal, kill, destroy. Ame kupangia. Uyu, nitamu sosi wata ni mrushie kwanza kakijana hapa. I mess up na hevi zuri. You can't receive the glorious thing God alo kwa mekusetia, Baba. He hated her more than how he thought ali kwa mimulov. Then I come on, get up, get out. Oh, please, sending me away will be a greater wrong than what you have already done. He refused to listen to her. He called his personal servant and said, get this woman out of here! And bolt the door after her. You see why Rudi Hapa. So his servant put her out and bolted the door after her. She was wearing a richly ornamented robe. For this was the kind of garment the virgin daughters of the king wore. And it was an outward glory of a very nicely made dress and ornaments shining in the glory. Both one of the value virginity. 
Look at the value, richly ornamented robes. Ornament zimeekwa. Kusema, this is not just my daughter, but she is a virgin. There is value in purity, wewe. There is value in purity. Patikisha nikimalizia. Tamar put ashes on her head, tore the ornamented robe she was wearing. She put her hand on her head and wept away, weeping aloud as she went. Nisema, this robe is meaningless. Kaipasua, kaitupa, kaishia. But, uh, sijui nini goda na kuzungumzia mali huko. But I feel God and I need to speak now wewe sasa hii mwenye unanisikiza. Kama wewe ni wale watu umekuwa taken advantage of. The only place of redemption is in Christ. Eh? And the saddest bit ni you must forgive whoever it is amekukosea. Forgiving does not mean necessarily you will not press on charges if you want to. It just means I'm not going to carry you. And I can choose to let go or choose to go ahead but I'm a free. This thing is freeing my heart. Because your bitterness when a baby it could destroy even father. Where when you I hate all men because kuna msele kukosea. That was the intention ya shetani from the word go. To mess up your perspective. Get one person filled with lust. Where with your own evil desires pi and ani. Connect the two of you. Take advantage of you. Mess up your perspective of yourself. Perspective of men. Perspective of what God created. Perspective of marriage. Destroy you completely and keep you from enjoying the richness and the fullness of life God has set for you. Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of Satan. To reverse your thinking. He has the abundance of life. Whoever tarudi kwa Christ. Whatever una feel shetani amechukua God will be able to restore. Find your restoration and hope in God. Usipatie shetani maze hiyo strength unampea kumwalawa kucheza hivi anajisikia. Wewe mwenye saa hizi mali huko hauja commit hizi vitu lakini boss ni a matter of time juu. Looking at what you're feeding yourself on 24/7 ngwati. Wewe na pono mko hivi. Vitu zinakubamba ni the lewd, the nudity ya watu to see. Boss, it is only a matter of time before it translates to action, man. Christ tell to pay to the perfect recipe. For as long as you've not dealt with it here, then be rest assured you're already that which you're thinking about. Na kuna vita deadly to try fight kama hapa, cause hapa hatukuna mtu uona. Leo unaangalia Buddha boss, lakini kama niko na issues hapa ujui. Tutakuangalia umengarapo kujaga church lakini hapa hivi hatujui the madness inaendelea hapa ndani the wickedness inapikwa hapa ndani Lazima tufikie mali Buddha Philippians 1:8 ama 1:18 ita come through that we are able to think of things that are pure things that are noble things that are praiseworthy Unajua things that are good even if lazima tucheze nazo kwa lazima tufike mali we have total control of our minds and the desires otherwise our lives will be a replica of what we've cooked up here God that to help me God that to help at Freddy Buda Boss jiske ku like share follow tashuku I'll see you. Wow,